Probably not gonna get any Nike shoes sent to me, <laughs> say, at least from Nike, right? But I gotta be honest with the review, you know? And that's just kind of how I am and I, I, I think that's what most of you would appreciate. Hi, I'm Dan the Ultra Dad, and thanks for joining me tonight for my review. Before we get started though, if you like my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button or hit the like thumbs up if you like this video, and certainly turn on the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when my new videos come out. All right, with that out of the way, let's get started. What's up everybody, Dan the Ultra Dad here for my full review of the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTX shoes. Really excited for this review. It's been a few weeks coming. I've run uh, about three weeks in these shoes and put over 30 miles in them. So I have a good handle on what I like and don't like about the shoe and I can't wait to tell you about it. So here we go. All right, so with each of my reviews, I look at five different components. Number one, I look at the upper. Number two, I look at the midsole. Number three, I look at the outsole. Number four, I look at the ride of the shoe when you're running. At number five, I look at the overall effectiveness of the shoe as far as whether it's doing the job that it was intended to do. And of course, I'll give you the final overall score and some of my thoughts about the shoe. All right, so the upper of the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTXs is a good upper, uh, no problem with it. I gave it a seven out of 10. The upper is uh, only, well, when you're looking, it's a GTX Gore-Tex shoe. We'll talk about the Gore-Tex later, but you do hear the Gore-Tex kind of sliding on your socks a little bit, so that takes some adjusting to but it's not a problem. It doesn't really hurt your feet. There aren't, there aren't any hot spots on the top of your foot or anything like that. So overall, the upper does a great job in that regard. As far as the toe box, um, it is a wide platform, a wide toe box, which is nice. I like that a lot. Um, it uh, allows my toes to splay almost uh, in some ways, kind of like an ultra shoe. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, as far as the heel collar, kept my heel in just fine. Um, I will say that I like this little mini gaiter that uh, it provides. Kind of hugs your Achilles and your ankle and keeps your ankle and your heel from popping out of the shoe and slipping. There's almost like a soft bumper in here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, it just kind of hugs the, it hugs the outside of your ankle and it really kind of, it feels good and it keeps your heel in the shoe. So the upper gets a seven out of 10 from me. All right, so the midsole. The midsole was a pleasant surprise. Um, if you watch my first impressions video, if you haven't, definitely check it out, upper right-hand corner. If you watch my first impressions video, I had some concerns about the midsole in this shoe. Um, I was concerned that it didn't have enough uh, energy return and it kind of felt flat. Uh, I wasn't sure how comfortable it would be once I got put more miles into the shoe. But in the end, the midsole really surprised me. Um, after, after my third run in the shoe, I started to feel just how soft it really was underfoot. Um, and maybe it was because I, had, I was also running in some of my older shoes where the midsole was a little bit more worn in. Um, but these mid, this midsole was really nice. The midsole, I'll give it a pretty good score, eight out of 10. Uh, it was definitely a pleasant surprise and I enjoyed running it. So we'll talk more about the ride in a couple minutes. All right, let's talk about the outsole. The outsole of the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTXs was nothing less than disappointing, extremely disappointing. Um, really had problems. And so it's kind of sad to say, but this really ruined the shoe for me. Um, now, if you, there's some, some good things about it and maybe some possible uses that I'll mention in a minute, but take a look at this. So these lugs just aren't deep enough um, and there aren't nearly enough of them to make this an effective trail shoe. I think Nike got kind of cute with this. Um, I do like the patterns that they used. So they, they, and that was good design, I think, um, so that in theory, um, it's, it would catch you better when you're on your heels going down a hill and you would still get good grip going up a hill. But, so you see that design difference, I think that's smart. But the problem is, uh, it doesn't help much when the lugs that you choose are so shallow and they're just too big um, to really make a huge difference on a trail. If you're doing a buffed out trail, then this outsole will do an adequate job. It'll probably do a good job. But if you're looking at a technical, wet, uh, muddy trail, then you may have real problems. I have had issues with this on the mud especially. Um, it's just really slippery. Um, also the snow, same feeling, um, just some, just a lot of instability because it just doesn't grip in the surface. The outsole gets a low score for me, a four out of 10. I know, four out of 10, I gotta be honest. All right, now let's talk about the ride of the shoe. The ride of the shoe is a positive aspect of the shoe for sure. So I felt like it, it 
really gave me the impression of a light and fast shoe, um, very nimble. Um, I felt like I could go quickly in this shoe. I could go fast. So I gave it, um, no, I gave the ride a 7 out of 10. It's overall, a pretty heavy shoe. Um, I think it's 10.9. I've seen different things. 10.9, I've seen 11.1 ounces. Uh, <clears throat> again, that's like size 9, kind of an average size. I have a size 12, so these are well over 10 ounces, probably well over 11 ounces, which is a pretty heavy shoe, but honestly, they felt pretty light. Well, again, light and fast. So it's to me, it's all about how it feels. All right, let's talk about the overall effectiveness of this shoe. This shoe, and this is where we'll talk about the Gore-Tex. So this shoe is the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTX version. Um, so there's Gore-Tex in the liner. And, you know, as far as effectiveness, this shoe is intended to keep the elements out of the shoe. Um, keep your feet warm and cozy. And I tell you, it, it does a great job with that. Um, I had no problems with water coming in. I mean, literally no water was able to penetrate this shoe. Um, now, it was keeping the water below the heel collar, so you got to watch out for that. If it went over, then it would get in and probably wouldn't be able to get out very well. But this Gore-Tex uh, really is, is magic, and uh, I've, I've had Gore-Tex in other, um, other items of clothing and other shoes, and it really does work well. Uh, there's no, no surprise here that the Gore-Tex worked like a charm and did its job. So as far as effectiveness, I gave this shoe an 8 out of 10. It does exactly what they intended. Now, I do have one quick comment on that. So if you are going to need to use the Gore-Tex because of snow, water, you know, rain, whatever it might be, water, rain, that's the same thing. Um, whatever it might be, if you're keeping the elements out, that means that the elements are probably on the ground, which means it's probably pretty slippery and muddy or, you know, snowy. And then you're having to rely on this outsole. So don't know how that's going to work out for you. Um, what's the point of having Gore-Tex if you're using it in those elements and you can't get good traction? So. That's a big concern with this Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTX. All right, overall score, a 6.8 on average out of 10. So a pretty weak score, if you ask me, for a Nike shoe. You know, Nike is an iconic brand. It's a, a mega company. It's one of the, it's the largest running shoe company on the market. And for me, you know, and my money, if they're gonna charge, and they charge $160 for this shoe, if they're going to charge 160 bucks for this shoe and call it a trail shoe, they better focus a lot more on the outsole. This outsole is poor and it should be well above average, especially because Nike is the one that's putting it out. So Nike, you need to get more on your game with your trail shoes. Um, to me, the outsole is the most important thing about a trail shoe. So if the, if the outsole isn't good, then it pretty much ruins the shoe for me. And that's what it did with this one. So a lot of good things about it but the outsole is a big problem and I will not be keeping these. I'll be returning them. If you're going to run on buffed out trails in maybe like super cold weather, um, but it's buffed out, it's not going to be too wet, not going to be too muddy, then these might be a good shoe for you um, because the outsole can probably handle it, the conditions, and your feet are going to stay nice and warm and cozy. But if you're not in, the, in that situation and you've got relatively thick mud or snow, I wouldn't recommend these shoes. I would look at other brands that have focused on their outsole. Probably not going to get any Nike shoes sent to me, <laughs> at least from Nike, right? But I got to be honest with the review, you know, and that's just kind of how I am. And I, I think that's what most of you would appreciate. So that's my opinion on the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 GTXs. Thanks again for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. I um, hope that you found something useful, some value. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like uh, thumbs up for this video. It definitely helps the video and helps my channel. And if you want to hear my video or find out when my videos are coming out, hit the bell notification so that it tells you when my next video comes out. All right. Thanks again for joining me tonight. I hope you're enjoying your weekend and uh, making the most of it. I think that's all I've got tonight. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you in the next one.